All right, Shalom. This is her one, Banyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Kaw Halayim, Le Yahawah, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Haraka Kodash, Mama. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwatim and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Uh, as of Thursday, July 25th, had a recent um, uh, situation that happened out um, in Alaska with uh, China and Russian uh, bombers being intercepted over Alaska. Now, the reason this is so important is because, um, one, they caught Russia and China um, teaming up together and also uh, whatever they were doing some type of drills we're going we're gonna to read about it but then also um, years ago Russia sent bombers down the east and the west coast of America and uh, the citizens were in the panic but not the government why? because they were only panicked if you see Russia coming over Alaska, or you know, over Canada, straight down, and then coming um, over the land of America, straight down the middle, that would possibly represent an attack, and that's what they're afraid of. So when you see them creeping around Alaska, um, I think uh, America has their main um, missile sites up there launch sites the Minuteman 2's alright um and uh they want to fight over that land in, in Alaska as well alright so let's read about it and see what happened the other day on July I think around July 25th alright it says NORAD uh intercepts Russian and Chinese bombers operating together near Alaska in first such flight ever they know damn the first such flight where you see two bombers from Russia and China flying together and close to America uh, territory now um then don't forget you have in the south you still have the Russian submarines so they decided to do an attack they would come from the north the south and maybe even the um, the, the east or the west because China China owns most of the ports in the west all right because they can do a they can, they can do a precision strikes first before they do the ICBMs, man, because it's going to be a buildup to the, um, to that one day where the ICBMs get dropped on this place. But it's definitely going to be a tactical war, a back and forth war, you know. It says here, um, the North American Aerospace Defense Command intercepted two Russian and two Chinese bombers flying near Alaska Wednesday in what a U.S. defense official said was the first time the two countries have been intercepted while operating together. Okay. The bombers remained in international airspace in Alaska's air defense identification zone. Um, eight, so and and we're not and we're not seen as a threat, according to a statement from NORAD. All right, that's what America keeps saying. They, everything everything that Russia do, they keep saying is not a threat. The U.S. and Canada, which together comprise NORAD, intercepted the Russian uh, Tu ninety five Bear. Ooh. Prophecy 
and Chinese H-6 bombers. The aircraft did not enter the U.S. or Canadian sovereign airspace, NORAD said. All right, so look at that, man. The Russian Tu-95 Bear. Isn't that something, man? All right, so this is Revelations 13 and 2. And the beast which I saw was likened to a leopard. So this is talking about the establishment of NATO being um, creating those two plots on the earth to where uh, NATO has an enemy, Russia has an enemy, and NATO has an enemy. All right, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization um, was established to go against Russia. All right, in China, in Japan. Um, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, man. So, but the establishment of the beast, NATO, and the EU, but the end of their system is going to come through this bear, Russia. All right, and that word bear goes into the term enough because what did it say in Revelation 13? Who is like unto the beast and who can make war with him? That's 14. It says, And they worshipped the beast, the, the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. So they they um, pushed the agenda of the European Union. All right? Through NATO. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? So who is like NATO? And who is able to make war with him? Well, Russia, the bear. That's what it means to, to be equipped or enough. And the Lord said in Ezekiel 38, uh, Be thou prepared, thou and all thine army, and be a guard unto them. All right, so <clears throat> see they keep saying <clears throat> Russia and China were not a threat, right? Because the Most High, that's Revelation 7. The Lord is using the angels to hold back the destruction. All right. The scriptures say that the Most High controls the hearts of the kings, man. And at some point, Russia, the leaders of Russia and those countries are going to think an evil thought of the northern, those countries out of the north, Russia, and its allies. And they're going to come up against this place. And the scriptures say that the Most High shall threaten who shall not be afraid? Second Peter 3 and 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, or his promise of delivering us and giving us that land that he promised to Abraham, Isaac, and the blessing fellow on Jacob. Some as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us. See, long suffering and labor, uh, tilling the soil, preparing us, grooming us, trimming the tree, chastising us, right, watering us. That's the how shot all the way into the day of harvest. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repent, repentance. All right, that all the who, all the elect. Start well, all of Israel, but starting with the elect, are going to come to repentance, turning back to the Father through Yahweh Shai. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. See, and we're in the time of night right now while Esau is ruling. Without Yahweh Shai here, without the sun, there's night, there's dark, just like in the beginning. Without the sunlight, there was dark. Without Yahweh Shai, we're in the nighttime. All right. Uh, where, where nocturnal animals are ruling Esau, <clears throat> and then the and then the witch. So it's gonna come as a thief in the night, unexpectedly, man. See them bombers creeping around. That's why it's, uh, Second Ezra, I think, fifteen. It says, "Good shall be." Um, uh, what's the word? Um, the food shall be so good, cheap. That people shall think themselves to be in good case, but even then shall evils grow upon the earth. 
you know. So um, now it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, man, unexpectedly, man, catch everybody off guard. That whole them bombers was creeping, the nuclear subs creeping, creeping around America. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right. So, all right, in Jeremiah 50 and 29. Call together the archers against Babylon. All ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. And that's what they're doing. They're setting up camp against this place. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, man. So this place is going to be uh, completely destroyed. According to all that she have done, do unto her. For she have been proud against Yahweh, against the Holy One of Israel, right? And the Lord promised that he was going to destroy this place. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day. Say if Yahweh. So there's going to be a, a war, a battle that happens on the ground here as well, and out in the ocean. All right? That's going to be a prelude to the uh, ICBMs being dropped on this place. It's going to be a civil war. A migrant war. All right. <clears throat> There's going to be a civil war, meaning the citizens against the government, even martial law. All these things are coming. It says, uh, but in the midst of that, all the men, a lot of the men that the Lord said, what? The, the slain of the Lord shall be many. And a lot of the men, a lot of the gangsters, the thugs, and killers. They're going to what? They're going to fall in the streets, man. A lot of the soldiers, the police, and all her men of war, see, shall be cut off in that day, be powerless. Say if Yahweh, behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud. America is that stout, that nation that's more stout than its fellows. Super brave, <laughs> the home of the brave, and of the free. We ain't free. O thou most proud, man. This place here, America, is proud against the Lord. And it's like anti God or something. Say if Yahweh the power of hosts. For thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. So the Lord is visiting this place. Sending Russia and all them against it and plotting around it. And the most proud shall stumble and fall. And none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour, devour all round about. Look at that. So that's, that goes with Revelation 11, where it says uh, the tenth part of the city fell. So it's going to be, the scriptures also say the sounds of, there's a sound of battle in the land. All right. Shall a trumpet be blown, and the Most High have not done it? So it's going to be war. All out war on this place. Um, but they think it's not going to happen. It's not a threat. It's not a threat. I don't think Russia going to do anything. No, it's about God, man. Do you think the Most High is going to do anything? He controls the hearts of men. <laughs> That's and then you had to go to the Most High's word and his men and see what they're saying. Well, we're telling you that it's coming. <laughs> The war, World War Three, is about to happen. But there's a few prophecies that have, have to uh, that are in place first, like the mark of the beast. Thus saith Yahweh, the power of the heavenly host. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. That's why I said, double unto her what she have done unto us. So this place was the place of our captivity. This will represent uh, Russia saying, uh, I'm going to go up to their land. It's, yeah, it's talking about the land of Israel too, but it's really talking about this place, America, where we dwell in the um, artificial uh, safety. And the only safety we have truly is our confidence in Yahweh. So this is where we dwell at. This is the congregation of the, in the north, all right, representing the church. 
part of the church that, that's in the, uh, on the soils of America. And we are pressed here together. That's why this place is called the melting pot. That's why this place is going to be the main spot for the initial deliverance. Because we're going to get out of here quick. All right. That's why it's called Babylon, because it's a place where all a lot of nations dwell, different languages, different ideas, theories, philosophies, confusion, wickedness. All right, um, and this is not our homeland. It says, and all that look that took them captives, held them fast. They refused to let them go, and that's why we're still here to this day, because the Most High. Allow them to keep us. Now the Most High is going to what? Free us from their grip. They don't have to let us go. That's the same thing he did with Pharaoh. Remember that? He hardened Pharaoh's heart so he could show his power. Well, he's doing that with Esau. That's why Esau is going to come down with great wrath. And the Lord is going to show that that's nothing to him. All right. Their Redeemer is strong. See that? Yeah, you can grip us up and, and try to keep us and refuse and hold us back. The Lord, like, all right, tighten your grip. Go ahead, get strong. Because the Most High and Yahweh Shah are way stronger than that. So our Redeemer is strong. He said, "No man shall buy you, no man shall redeem you, except for Yahweh Shah." All right. So, so we need these things to happen so the Lord can free us from our captivity. A lot of our people here in this society have forgotten about captivity, forgotten that spirit that our people were in during the times of like Isaac Hayes. And, um, you know, you, you can go look at an Isaac Hayes concert. Oh, what was that guy named, man? Uh, he, I, what's his name, man? Skinny, um, dark skinned comedian, with big white woolly bear looked like, um, yeah, it looked like your house shot. Skinny dude. They used to do com comedy with uh, Richard Pryor and him. He was all over the place talking. I can't remember his name right now. His face, I see his face, but I can't remember his name. But all these different speakers in the 60s and 70s, we wanted freedom. But our people have forgotten that. Instead, they've taken on this character of drill music or kill music or democratic republican try to try to do just like adam mingle in with the nations trying to find some type of covering but the lord said yo you take a covering but not of him what are you doing look how he had to prove it to adam adam tried to cover himself up with thin ass leaves the lord gave him lamb's wool and thick coverings of flesh to cover him that's what the lord is doing for the elect giving us true coverings instead of um, artificial uh, coverings under these religions and philosophies so we're blessed to have a true covering for what's coming alright that says um, their redeemer is strong man Yahweh of hosts is his name of the heavenly armies and he shall thoroughly plead their cause so the Lord is going to thoroughly fight for us and judge our our situation that he may give rest to the land alright so he's going to give rest to who the elect of Israel that's what it's talking about and to our physical land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon alright so our land is going to have rest, meaning the elect are going to be given rest. See, this is another cut on that guy, Hasad. Because when it's talking about rest to the land, it's talking about, uh, metaphorically speaking, well, the elect that are in the truth. We represent the land today. Wherever we're at, is a people before a place. All right. And disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. So now the, the inhabitants of America are being disquieted. They are rest here. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, man. And today the Chaldeans represent 
uh, Esau, the Americans, um, these elite bankers, and saith Yahweh, and, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon. So it's got a sword that's upon the beast, the EU, NATO, and the sword is upon the whore of America. Babylon the Great <clears throat> and upon her princes so upon upon their uh, generals their leaders and upon her wise men their presidents a sword is upon the light look at look at Trump look at Biden the Lord, is not the Lord putting the sword on their ass All right, and, and also from uh, Russia and China and they shall dote a sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. Now that word dope says to be extremely and uncritically fond of. Alright, so let's get it again. Alright. The word dope means to be either to be foolishly fond of or to be weak minded, man. Alright. So it says, a sword is upon the liars, and they shall dote. And it basically be weakened, man, all their lies. Because the truth is going to stand. People that are saying it's not going to happen. This ain't going to happen. This prophecy, you know what he's talking about. But they're going to be confounded in that day. A sword is upon her mighty men. All the tough guys in this society, all their military and police that's harassing people in the streets. Becoming more and more... Uh, systemized and they shall be dismayed man see that they're going to be surprised caught off guard having no idea stuck in the dark a sword is upon her horses and upon her chariots see that's why China and Russia are doing drills and what they say in Ch Chicago they dr they're drilling <laughs> and they shall be dried up so a sword is upon so like a sword is upon her horses, a sword is upon her chariots, so all their tanks, their weaponry, the uh, uh, import, exports, and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her. See, this place is that melting pot, America. That's why you have unemployment. That's why you have homelessness, recession. That's going to turn into a depression. You have uh, killings and all kind of death and um, disease, warfare, all this crazy, all this everything in second uh revelation chapter i think it's five or chapter six where it speaks about the uh the, the red horse the black horse and the pale horse all right the devil's coming down having great wrath the lord is allowing this to happen so you how wish i could bring his judgment a drought is upon her waters so like it and they shall become as women now look at this society, man. It's basically Sodom and Gomorrah. And the sword is upon her treasures, and they shall be robbed, right? Because the Lord said, all the full storehouses shall become empty. The treasures of this place. That's uh, Habakkuk chapter 2. How long shall they increase in that which is not his? That And these nations going to, uh, uh, you know, come back for theirs, man. Send them dollars home to roost. That's de dollarization. A drought is upon her waters and they shall be dried up. All right. So, what's that? Famine. Lack of water. Look at the sinks today. You can't even drink out of this sink. So, they, they're controlling it. Look, look at the. Um, Zephyr Hills, all these bottled water companies, that's rationing out water. All they got to do is just say, hey, there's a, a contamination in the water. Boom. You know, you got um, farms that are suffering from the lack of water and from drought in certain areas in America. Um, for it is the land of graven images, and they are, they are mad upon their idols. So that's why the Lord is sending these threats towards this place, man. Look, therefore the wild beasts of the desert with the beasts of the islands shall dwell there and the isles shall dwell therein and it shall no more be inhabited, right? Forever. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. 
So people saying it's not going to happen. Well, the Lord is saying this is going to happen. That, that this place is about to become um, a lava pit. According to Revelations, it, it tells you. All right. Um, and as Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah with, with fire and the neighboring cities thereof, five neighboring cities, I think, say if Yahweh, so, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. So the elect won't be there in the kingdom. These heathens won't be here scavenging around trying to rebuild shit. Ain't gonna be able to find no artifacts. This place is gonna be turned to dust. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah is today. Behold, a people shall come from the north. Ooh, what people is that? Russia and all its allies. If they want to attack this place on land or uh, with bombers and planes, aircrafts, well, all they need is um to come from the north, from the west, or from the south with their bombers. They can come from the east too, but it'd be like Carolina because that's where the main uh main um, missile launchers are at for America. The nukes are being held. The first thing they're going to attack is nuclear sites. Take them all out, and then they're going to destroy this place. They might hit it with an EMP or whatever. It's according to prophecy. It says, Behold, a people shall come from the north. See what people? Russia, China, you know, probably North Korea someday. And a great nation, man. Man, and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. Look at that, man. They're going to come all the way over here to destroy this place, man. I should go up to the land of unwalled walled villages. And the Lord said, uh, he's making way for the kings of the east. Hell from beneath is moved for thee. Don't it? Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. So the Lord is moving these nations. He's raising up the kings of the earth. All right, those brick nations. Behold, a people shall come from the north, man. They, it's going to happen someday. Because they know if that happens, that means an attack is coming. And a great nation and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. And they shall hold the bow and the lance. All right. So this is not talking about uh, ICBMs. Instead, they're going to hold the bow and the lance, meaning in the, in the bombers. All right, and um, a full-on uh, attack. They are cruel and will not show mercy. Their voice sh shall roar like the sea, and they shall ride upon horses, man. See that? So it's going to be a full invasion on this place before they destroy it, just like they're doing with Ukraine. They invade it first, destroy all the main sites, and then they uh, can launch them missiles. And they shall ride upon the horses, every one put in array like a man to the battle. That's those missiles. And then you're going to have bombers in the midst. All right. But really, this initially talking about the missiles being put in array like a man to the battle. It's going to be like a storm cloud rising over this place. Like that movie uh, 300, when the arrows were blotted out the sun came down on uh, Leonidas alright I remember that comedian's name now his name is Dick Gregory the one I was thinking about earlier that I couldn't remember Dick Gregory alright <laughs> during that time when Dick Gregory and I was speaking in the public watch his old speeches man see the see the energy in the crowd when you see the crowd it's gonna look just like one of those um Byzantine or um what you would call uh, catacomb um, uh, 
antique, you know, pictures of us in the ancient times. It, it, that's how the crowd looks. You can just tell all of our people wanted freedom, and we were we were more so together. A lot has happened. You can see the division. You can see the doubt, the lack of hope, the submission. All right. Their, vo their voice shall roar like the sea, man. So that threat is going to be heavy upon this place. And they shall ride upon horses, everyone put in array like a man to the battle. That's the missile. They're going to roar. Sound like the sky cooking. And don't forget those bombers. Against thee, O daughter of Babylon. The king of Babylon have heard the report of them, and his hands waxed feeble against Anguish took hold of him and pangs as of a woman in travail. So that's what's coming, man. Whoever the leader is that they're going to put in place, that the, that the elites are going to put in place real soon. All right. Or they're going to hear about the Russia and China um, and these uh, BRICS nations coming up against this place. So whoever they put in office... Right, whoever they put in office is going to have to deal with this, man. He said, what, pains and pains shall take hold of the that uh, leader of America like a woman in travail. So could it be a woman that's leading or will it be a male? Cause I think, me personally, I think they're going to try to take out, take Trump out so they can move forward with their agenda. All right, because both sides want a new world order. But Trump just wants to be the king of the New World Order. So he could be. You never know. If they hand him over a war, imagine him in a war. All hell gonna break loose. You know, especially on uh, Jake. Imagine uh, Kamala Harris or uh, what's the other one named? Michelle Obama. Michael, Michael Obama. At the helm or leading in a war, which is not supposed to happen. A woman leading. All right, so uh, especially in battle. All right, well, this is coming, man. China and Russia stage their first joint bomber patrol near Alaska. All right, so it's the first time ever, and this is major, and they're not talking about it on the news. All right, so um, with that, I'm gonna end it. And I may have to go more into this uh, topic later. But that one's the shallow one. Keep your eyes on the skies. That way we won't get caught by surprise.